The rationale of the trial was to study the use of ertafitinib in a group of patients with metastatic, mostly previously treated urothelial tumors who had, who had need of a new agent. Some of them received prior immunotherapy, some of them chemotherapy alone. And the first part of the trial was randomized. We didn't know whether intermittent dosing versus continuous dosing was better. As a result of the early part of the trial, continuous dosing was selected and we were even able to up titrate from 8 milligrams to 9 milligrams daily if patients did not achieve a certain target phosphorus level in their serum. The trial data suggests that there is evidence of clinical activity and the study met its primary objective, which was on the basis of objective response rate, PRs and CRs, which was in 40% of patients with FGFR altered tumors. And this was out of a total of 99 patients in the selected phase two cohort. So the trial did meet its primary endpoint. The therapy was very well tolerated. Few patients discontinued treatment due to side effects, so the most common reason for discontinuing was due to eventual progression of disease. We saw an impact of these tumors on the progression-free survival, which was around 5.6 months in patients with urothelial cancer, and the median overall survival of all patients in the phase two cohort is 13.8 months.